let's create equity scheduling redirections. So we will have three tabs open. First of all, we will have our scheduling. We will have our appointment types. So inside scheduling, appointment types. And we will have our kind of thank you page here. Let's get started. So first step is the plugin code installation. Open it up. So copy this code to scheduling integrations, custom conversion tracking. So click copy. And here in scheduling, we will go to integrations. I'm gonna click on analytics and conversion tracking here. So we're gonna scroll down to custom conversion tracking with this blue dartboard thing. Click on set up and paste the code here. You can make a little bit more room, easier to see. So this code, first step goes here. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click save. And now that we're done with this first step, I'm going to close it and go to the second step, making redirects, open that up. So for each, uh, each redirection you want to do, you will copy paste this to the same place and edit the appointment type, uh, name and the redirection URL. I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm going to copy this and here in the custom conversion tracking. So we are still here, uh, still here in the same place where we just added the first code snippet. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to add a little bit extra space here after the ending script tag. So this is the first step. And now the second step, I will just copy paste it here. And I'm going to click save in between. Uh, well, maybe it's not good to save because you need to scroll again. Now I need to get the appointment name and the redirection URL and copy it to these places. The appointment type, I'm going to use this Shopify analytics conversion consultation in our appointment types. So click on edit. For the appointment type you want to redirect. Select the name here. So select all of it and copy. Don't write this, always copy paste. It's, it must match exactly. Going back to the first tab where we are adding the appointment, I'm just gonna select this appointment name, kind of this placeholder here, get rid of the placeholder. And in between those quotes, paste. So inside the quotes, we have the name of the appointment type we want to redirect. The same thing we will do for the redirection URL. So I'm going to go to the thank you page and grab the thank you page URL. Again, always copy paste. You can double click to select backspace. Whoops, I will zoom in a little bit better. So double click backspace and in between these quotes, paste. So now this appointment type will be redirected to this page once we hit save settings. Great, the first redirection is now enabled. Let's make it a little bit prettier before we test. So now you can actually go and test. So in your appointment types, the type we redirected, you can click on direct scheduling link and you can try out the redirection. However, I'm gonna add the loading spinner before I do that. So click on the loading spinner and open this copy CSS code. So I'm gonna do just that, I'm gonna copy it. So this code goes to customize appearance and advanced CSS. So here on the left hand side, we have customize appearance and advanced CSS. Now there is a update that equity scheduling just made. There are two different versions of the style, which is shown here. This is the classic style. And today the custom CSS loading spinner 
this which we are now adding only works for the classic. So pretty soon it will also work for the new version. But if you get an error message here saying this feature is not yet enabled, then you will need to click a, a, a thing here to go back to the classic style and then add the custom CSS. Either way, to complete this step, loading spinner, you must copy this and paste it here. So uh, in this version, I'm not doing it, but you should do pasting the CSS here. Good. Okay, inside loading spinner, the first step is done. Now let's apply it to a redirect uh, an appointment. So this CSS is kind of a style we can use to add the loading spinner to any appointment types. And here we are choosing which appointment type we will add the loading spinner to. So open this up and I'm just gonna copy this redirection spinner code by, by clicking here on copy. I'm gonna go to the tab where we have our appointment type open. So you remember here in appointment types, again, the appointment types I'm working on and I click edit. So there is a message shown on confirmation page. If there isn't, you probably need to click on a little link here. So if I remove this, it'll show you how you will probably see. You will probably see this show a message after scheduling. So you will have to click on that first. Click on the top left thing, which says HTML and it will turn black. Now that it's black, go to the instructions and copy this redirection spinner here. Scroll all the way down and click update. So to recap what we just did, we added the custom CSS to the whole equity scheduling. So that way we can use the custom CSS loading spinner in any appointment type. Now I don't want to show a, an endless loading spinner without a redirect to my other appointment types. I only want it to be enabled to once I have redirected. So in this case, this. So now this one is going to have the loading spinner and it's going to have the redirection. I hope this makes sense. This code stuff can seem very complicated, so I want to be very clear. Here is the redirection and here is the loading spinner. Now let's take the whole thing for a test drive. I'm just gonna book a random time for test test man. Use a random email address. And now when I click complete appointment, we're gonna see the loading spinner from here and we're gonna see a redirection which we added here. Okay, let's try it out. And that is definitely the prettiest, most advanced, but also simplest redirection you will ever find for equity scheduling. Now, two extra uh, features you might wanna use. You can use the booking information on your thank you page. So this is a really advanced feature. This will require a little bit more, more code experience, but I have added this feature as part of the plugin. So actually what is happening here is that this part, I'm gonna highlight it. This red part, do you recognize it? It's the name of our appointment type. So in this very advanced version I have made, this is automatically picked up by the plugin. So if you were to book another appointment, this would say something different. Now this is just for demo purposes, but I have included this code, which you can use and modify if you want to be very like advanced. Also here, here it says a calendar invitation has been sent to an email address. And this is the same thing. This is also, this is also a dynamic value. 
sent by the Acuity scheduler. So you can use this in a code block, for example, and use this custom script to automatically fill the dynamic values from our appointment to the thank you page. Perfect. Uh, one last thing you might want to use is a fallback URL. Fallback URL means that let's say we have two appointment types. Uh, we, we are redirecting to a, to a specific thank you page. So, well, maybe we just did, did this first one here. So if we want to redirect all the others, maybe we have 30 appointment types in addition to uh, this appointment type. And we want to redirect all those others to the same thank you page. We can use this. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add the fallback URL. So as an example, maybe we have this one has its own thank you page. We have another one and a third one and a fourth one, but all the others, maybe we have 30, all the others would be redirected to this custom thank you page. Perfect. So recap. Plugin code makes all of this redirection stuff possible. Here we can make the specific redirects by copy pasting this multiple times, as many times as we like. We add the loading spinner in two parts. We add the loading spinner style, and then we enable that style for any appointment types we choose. So a Appointment type should have a loading spinner and a redirection and we have to add those in these two different places. You can, if you're advanced and you know a little bit of code, you can use the dynamic values in your thank you page and you can add a fallback URL to redirect all the others you haven't specified uh, a thank you page for, you can redirect those. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting the plugin and let me know if you need any help with it.